Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jen Rosenbaum. I am a boudoir photographer, founder of the Shamelessly Feminine Movement, and also a breast cancer survivor. I've been out of touch. It's been really busy the past few months, but there's been a lot going on and I wanted to share it with you. You know, when I had my reconstruction, I thought at first things looked pretty good. I was like, okay, well, this is the new normal, right? Your chest doesn't look the same as it looks before, but it's, it's okay, it's livable. As time went on, I felt that it wasn't really looking so good and maybe I wanted to do a fat transfer or something just wasn't right. I felt that my breasts were a little too low, they were too wide, they were kind of getting in the way of my arms, uh, a little too far apart maybe, and I have a ridge on the top that I'm really not happy with. It looks very artificial, makes it very difficult to wear bathing suits, tank tops, so on and so forth. So I saw my plastic surgeon a few times and he said to me, oh, a fat transfer isn't a great idea. I don't know if I could do it. You look good, don't worry. I would show family members or my husband and they would say, oh, you look good, don't worry. But it was really bothering me. So I saw my plastic surgeon again and he kind of gave me a little bit of, be happy that you're alive. Like, what are you so worried about what you look like? And you know, it really got me thinking, why is it important what I look like? I'm alive, right? But here's the thing about it. There's a difference between being alive and feeling alive. And if you're not feeling alive, you can't really be alive. So it was stopping me from feeling alive. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was hard for me to wear certain clothes. It was hard for me in certain social situations. It still is, because I still have the same breast implants in. But I decided to do something about it. I went and I made an appointment with another plastic surgeon. Why am I telling you this? Well for a couple of reasons. Number one, I felt bad or narcissistic or egotistical for thinking that I should look better than I looked. Um, I was like, mm, maybe I should just be grateful that I'm alive. But the truth is that I did want to look good. I do. I'm too, I'm too young. And I, really, I don't care what age you're at, but you're too young also, no matter what age you're at, to walk around not feeling good. So I decided uh, I'm going to see this plastic surgeon. And I also, like, I had a moment of like, well, I don't want to hurt my plastic surgeon's feelings by seeing somebody else. But you know, here's the thing, you guys, we have to be our own advocates. And I needed a second opinion. If I went for a second opinion and a doctor said to me, no, your doctor's right, this is the best it's gonna get, then I'll figure out a way to live with it, right? But if there's another option for me out there, I think I wanna take advantage of it. So I marched out of his office, I went straight to the front desk, and I made an appointment with another doctor. And sure enough, I saw that doctor a few weeks ago. I took off my robe, he took one look at me and said, you do not have the right breast implants in and that's why they don't look good. They are too far apart, they are too wide, they're too flat, they're too low, and this ridge on the top does not look good. And I thought to myself, thank goodness. In fact, I even said to him, thank you for, for validating my feelings for a change. You know, sometimes as cancer survivors, we just wanna be validated. We just want somebody to say, yeah, you're right, they do look terrible. <laughs> so I was actually very happy he told me they didn't look good and I will be having another surgery for reconstruction. Does that suck? Absolutely, it is not what I wanna be doing. I have to go through it all over again. They're gonna remove these breast implants put in new breast implants, and they're also gonna do a fat grafting from the back of my thighs to the top of my breast to create a little bit more of a natural slope so they look a little bit uh, more natural. When is the surgery happening? Right now it is scheduled for November, but I'm trying to push it up. I will let you know uh, if I do, and of course I will keep you abreast, no pun intended, of what that surgery is like, but you know guys, it's tough. You know, I, I'm done with my breast cancer, kind of, even though I'm still taking Lupron shots and I'm uh, taking Tamoxifen and I still need surgeries, but the truth of the matter is that you're in it. Once you have it, you're kind of in it for a long time, if not forever. So uh, I don't say that to be depressing, I say that to be standing in solidarity with you, that um, you know things just don't end once treatment ends. There's still stuff to deal with. So yes, this is optional. And of course, there's part of me that's still like, I can't believe I'm gonna have the surgery again. Why don't I just deal with what I look like now? Who really cares? Uh, but the truth is it does bother me. And I had to be honest with myself about that and my doctor about it. So today, 
I hope the message to you is to be your own advocate. If you don't like the way a doctor is talking to you or the way they're treating you or that they don't have certain sensitivity, speak up about it, do something about it, find another doctor, get another opinion. It's okay to do so. And I really just wish somebody had said that to me so I wouldn't have had to wait so long. So today I'm saying it to you. And um, as usual, if you have any questions, I'm always available for you to reach out to. Uh, my Instagram is at Jen Rosenbaum. So many of you reach out to me there, especially also by email so make sure if you are a breast cancer survivor or you're going through the journey now or supporting somebody you subscribe and follow to this uh, page I will be posting videos throughout the entire journey and for all of you out there that are struggling right now I wish you lots of beautiful thoughts healthy vibes and a lot of love and light talk soon